Were words added to the Bible to make the King James? And look what's missing. I showed you 41 Bibles with what's missing compared to the King James. But some people look at the evidence and say, you've got it all backwards. The other Bibles didn't take away words. They say the King James Bible added words. Are they right? Did words get added to God's words to make the King James Bible? Hi, I'm David Daniels from Chick Publications. It's hard to explain the anger, the disdain, the contempt that is poured out over one and only one Bible by intellectuals, professors, teachers, and even many pastors. The nose wrinkles into a sneer. Sometimes the teeth come out or the nose and the chin raise up. It's amazing to watch. Or the eyelids droop to half-mast and the lips pull at the sides like when something leaves a sour taste in your mouth. Or <laughs> they just laugh. And it's when they say or hear that name, the King James, meaning the Bible. What's going on? It's as if they think Satan himself has added those words to make the King James Bible. What's in most of the Bibles in my Bible library is basically the same as what you see in Look What's Missing. And 41 of them are compared with the King James to make it easy in 257 sample verses. So let me see if I've got this straight. They want me to believe that Satan saw this Bible with Jesus lying to his brothers that says Jesus sinned by being angry, with an unclear relationship between the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, with nothing that states you have to believe to be baptized, with iffy verses on whether you need good works or not in order to get saved or in order to stay saved, with unclear verses on angels, devils, heaven, and hell, and questions asked that God didn't answer. And Satan said to himself, I'm going to add words to this Bible. Now it will lift up Jesus and show a truth-telling Christ, a sinless Christ. Christ is God become a man. Salvation clearly by faith, works bringing reward but not salvation, clarity about angels and devils, heaven and hell, and God answering questions that are asked. So according to them, Satan added all this to the Bible, resulting in faith, clarity of doctrine, and the biggest missionary movement in history? Call me a skeptic, but I doubt it. If the devil clearly made either the Bible with less words that was unclear and contradictory and brought doubt, or the Bible with more words that was clear, consistent, faith-promoting, and with fruit following. I don't think the devil made the clear one. Call me a skeptic, but I don't think the Bible that raises doubts is the real thing. I think the one that makes faith simple is the one that God made. I'm going to stick to the Bible that brings faith, not doubt. You can pick what you want. And we'll see how that turns out on Judgment Day. God bless you and have a wonderful day.